Hello everyone. At this time, I would like to give you another tutorial on the use of a Facebook group of social learning type. So let's try to explore the new features of the, new, the, the Facebook group. And I'll show you how we are to make use of these features. So without much ado, let's start it off. So here in this menu uh, option or icon of our Facebook interface, we have to just click on it. Then hanapin natin sa right side ng uh, menu, uh, drop down list yung group. Then click at that. So after which, uh, you are to name the group. Like suppose I want to name it with ICT111. So the second thing we are to do is to choose a privacy setting. So ako, I prefer to use private if it is for a class. Then it's up to you guys how do you want to hide the, uh, the setting for hide group if you want it visible or hidden. But to me, I just would like to have a visible setting. So later, uh, I'll show you how to invite friends to be a member of this group. So the next thing we do is to click create button to create this page. And after a while, a page or a group will be created. So, ako lang po ang member ng group na to since bago ko lang siya ginawa. So, the next thing I'll do is to set the type of this page into a social learning type. So, here at the left pane of our window, hanapin natin yung settings menu. Then, click at that. So, to set up group uh, settings, we are to choose or look for the group type. So, kayo nang bahala of how you want the rest of the settings be. So I just would like to emphasize that this group must be a social learning because uh, we'll be using this in our class or online class. And after choosing the social learning uh, type group type, then click the save button. After a while, we show a refresh the screen by right clicking the click reload. Okay, so hindi pa natin kaagad makikita yung change. So all we have to do is to click at the home uh, menu here uh, in the left pane of our screen. Then here we are. You can see here already in this home page of our group uh, what we call uh, menus. Okay, so we have here about discussion, the guides, topics, members, events, and media. So we can see here that there is already guides. Kanina wala pa yan siya na hindi pa natin na change yung kanyang type into social learning. So, now gagawa na tayo ng guides. So, dito na natin ma-organize ang ating contents. No? So, suppose we have eight topics in a course sa isang semester. So, we shall be having or creating eight uh, guides here. So, to start with the creation of guides, we click at the start guide. Okay, then uh, we shall type the name of the first topic, suppose. The topic will be about uh, basic uh, concepts. Oops. Concepts of programming support. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to have a description here, but uh, skip ko muna. So let's just click save button here. And after which, you will be prompted if you want to create a post on that particular topic. Okay, but I'll just do that later. And you can also create a quiz after creating a post, maybe. But I want to create another guide. So, gagawa muna ako ng mga content bago ako magpo-post ng mga sub-contents of those no, major topics that I have in that particular course. So, my second topic will be about, suppose, uh, data types. Okay, so, isi-save ka na muna. And after which, okay, so I have here one, two topics. I want to have three topics. So the next thing we'll do is to add another topic that's about supposed looping and click save. So I'm done with the three topics I have in that uh, course. So ngayon gagawa na ako ng content ng bawat topic. So sa topic na to, meron akong supposed uh, tatlong subtopics. So, or to, to add the materials, in that particular topic of mine, I just have to click create post. Okay, so gagawa na ngayon ako ng instructions sa mga students about sa topic na to. So I'll give them a reading material like uh, 
uh, OOP basic concept. Okay, so please read the material to better understand the concepts of OOP. Suppose. So if you want to add more, okay, like suppose you want to add a photo, you can do so. Okay, or if you want to add more file, like suppose I want to attach a file, so you just have to click that uh, asterisk or that, that, that button, then click at add file. Okay, so I have to choose a file from a device. So hanapit ko muna dito sa aking computer. So here it is. So topic one, object-oriented programming concepts. So click open. So after which I upload yan ni computer. To the internet and after uploading just have to click the post button then after a while you can have your material posted already in this uh, topic or in this uh, guide so you can still add more uh, content to this uh, guide one the basic, basic concepts of programming or whatever topics it is that you have no, in this guide one so pwede pa rin create ng post or you can create quiz okay so suppose you want to create a quiz about the topics of the create quiz just have to type the title quiz on basic concepts of OOP suppose so you are just as if passing score but that's just open now so suppose the passing score is 85 percent okay then question one uh, which of the following is about object oriented programming okay so it is a graphical okay it is text or the post you can add more okay you can add more option option if you want so click add answer. It is structured. Something like that. So suppose you want to specify a correct answer. Suppose this is a correct answer, you have to just click it. Okay. Or if you want to delete a certain option, just have to click uh, the delete the command here. Okay. So if you want to add more options, just click add answer. And the explanation is just optional if you want to require your maybe if you want to have an explanation here or require your students to explain their answer you can just include this okay so then if you want to add more question click add question here and if you are done click done okay so that's how we create a piece in the fb group so that's it that's also what you are to do if you want to add the content and the piece to the rest of the guides Okay, so for the data type and the looping and so on. Okay, so that's about the creation of guides. So just click the X button here if you are already done. And if you want to add more or discussion, you just have to click here, the discussion menu of the home page of your group. And then specify okay, or say something. Okay, if you want your students to discuss or if you want to discuss with your students about something. Okay, what is OOP to you? Something like that. Okay, so click post or you may add a picture to motivate them. Okay, about their participation on that particular topic for the discussion. Okay, so to answer, maybe just students will just click answer here or maybe have some reactions about that particular post of yours. So that's it. So that's how we are to work on with the uh, uh, new uh, features of the Facebook Social Learning Group. And if you want to invite your students about uh, being a member of this class, you have to click at invite button here. Then if they're already your friends, you can just select their name here. Suppose I want to invite Helen Mediperlas and Elmer, click at the send invites. So we are to wait for their response to your invitation before they can be a member of this group. So here is the group 
ko I mean in this group there is only one member and that's me as admin and I am only the only person here in this group okay so that's about the creation of a Facebook group in this new version or features of the Facebook okay so I hope it helped you and thank you for watching God bless everyone.